hi there everyone welcome to my channel i'm going to hop on to a quick tutorial if you love crocheting with t-shirt yarn this is a very very nice project even if you have scraps laying around these are for dogs and cats so yeah i am going to show you quickly the stitch for this this can be for cats you can use one color two colors um, all depends on your your crochet needle and the, the thickness of your yarn I've used three colors here there are ones that I do very long and I make a loop I make it very thick and then I just play around with slip stitches and and the normal stitch um, yes so you can make it small big thick there is another stitch I have as well. This one is just very loose um, and not so tight. Uh, very soft for small puppies. So yeah, like I say, it's a very, very, very easy project for all that scraps laying around. Um, and as you can see, uh, depends on how thick your t-shirt yarn is. This one is quite thick, so, and this one is quite thin. This is why this one is so thick. Okay, so these ones I've made, we are going away for the weekend. So I've made them for an animal shelter and I'm going to be donating them. So let's get to it and I'll show you the stitch. Okay, so for this project, you will need any t-shirt yarn. You can use one, two or three layers. Um, I normally use a 10 to 12 crochet hook, depends on how thick it is. So your needle and a scissors. Okay, so you're going to chain actually two, but I'm going to chain three just to demonstrate how you start the project. Leave about 10 to 15 centimeters of, um, of t-shirt yarn left. Make a slip knot. And then what I would like, to, what I like to do is just make another knot, especially when you have one more than one color okay to secure it so i normally just chain two and then i'll start but i'm going to make this very loose to show you how i work so what you're going to do is you're going to keep on turning your work so you're going to go into the bottom yarn over take all two that's a single crochet okay so every time you see a stitch here at the bottom you are going to go into that one, yarn over, bring it back, do both. These two, you will struggle in the beginning, especially if you make it tight. Yarn over. You're going to work on these two. So this is what you're going to do for, for the whole pattern. Make it a little bit looser. Yarn over, bring it through. Yarn over, bring it through. Both. Apologies for that slip. So as you can see, is you're going to put your needle in here at the bottom all around you're going to work down here all around all around so you're going to put your needle in yarn over two on the loop yarn over again you're going to choose these two turn yarn over and that's how you are going to do the toys all around so like I said, you can chain two and you start at the chain two because here I did chain three because I wanted to show you. So now you can work around with any stitch actually you want. You can do double crochets, single crochets, slip stitches. So here's a double crochet. So you're always going to work in the two year so 
Put it in. Turn over. Okay. I just want to show you quickly what I do with these. I'll do a long one and then I'll make a loop with it. Okay. To make the loop, I'll slip stitch about six to seven times just to make it secure. And then I'll make a, a loop for them to tug it. You can do this on both sides. If you want to make a loop and go all the way down, all you can do is slip stitch down in any of these stitches. And um, yeah, leave some tails. And another nice thing that can be done with this, if you use two colors or even one color, you can put some treats in here. You can sell these to people with, with cats or dogs. Um, I know these toys are very expensive in the shops. Um, yeah, so to take one t-shirt, cut it up and make this, it's not even going to cost you anything. So, yeah, let me show you the other stitch I use. Okay, so my second stitch. Also leave these. Make, make a slip knot. And then we're going to chain three. Eyeliner is part of this project. I'll show you now. I'm going to make this very loose. So it's one, two, three. Okay, first stitch, I'm going to bring it out, second one, you're going to bring it out, okay, there must be three on the loop, you're going to take out the first and the second one, the reason for the eyeliner is if you don't lose these stitches, you can use a pen or a crochet needle or anything else, I'm used to the stitch by now. So I'm going to grab that one, bring it out, don't yarn over, second one, and the third one. I'm going to take these two out, careful not to lose that stitch. Second, my third one, that's what it looks like, let's do two more, take those two out, use your eyeliner or pencil or crochet needle, because you see if you grab that one, the stitch does want to come out. Okay. okay, so you just need to maneuver your whole, your work. And not lose your stitches. But if you get the hang of this, it is quite easy. And it's a very, very soft stitch. I prefer this one for cats and little puppies. It seems like I don't know what I'm doing. That's because of the two stitches. So here you can also use three types of, you can add three colors. Um, one, two, three, or four. But remember the thicker the yarn, well the thicker the t-shirt, uh, the, the thicker your needle must be. So I normally use a number 12 hook to do my projects. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. So you take those two out. Grab that one. Grab that one. And grab that one. Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. So this one I did with black. As you can see, this is very, very soft. If you try to open this, you won't even see the stitch. 
see here you start it and it looks like it's open here at the bottom but it's not as you go along it closes by itself so you can't even see where you've done it i also do a long one make a loop with it make a few slip stitches there secure the work and then yeah i do this for charity but this is a very very nice idea for you to make income from it t-shirt you don't even have to buy t-shirt yarn you can use these your own old t-shirts for this um i think what i'll do is i'll make a tutorial for how you can cut your t-shirts but on youtube there is a lot of tutorials on how you can use um t-shirt yarn and how you can cut it to create projects for it so yes that is my tutorial you can have some fun you can make small ones short ones thick ones little ones for cats um yeah so i hope you guys like this tutorial and go and enjoy yourselves please like and subscribe to my video and let me know what you think thank you goodbye